Hi, I'm Chaplain William Johnson with our morning meditation, and it's so uh, great an opportunity to be able to share with you once again. Uh, I'm grateful, as always, to be able to share these messages of inspiration and encouragement. Uh, today, uh, this morning, I'm excited about uh, sharing these messages to all of you. And as always, I want to encourage you to let you know uh, that you are loved, you are appreciated, and you are irreplaceable. Uh, there's something magnificent about who you are and what you offer to the world that even if the world does not understand it, and even if you sometimes have a hard time grasping it, it should not be understated that you are magnificently made and that you have something to offer um, that no one else in the world can give uh, to the world. And so we are thankful for you and thankful for sharing these messages with you. Today's message is entitled, Keeping the Rally Alive. Keeping the Rally Alive. As uh, many of you may or may not know, I am an avid St. Louis Cardinal fan. And yes, I've been that way since I was born, born into it. My uh, parents were Cardinal fans, my, are Cardinal fans, and my dad was a Cubs fan, but he still liked the Cardinals, God bless him. Um, uh, uh, the rest of my family, my grandma, used to uh, sit in front of the television hours upon hours watching the St. Louis Cardinals play, uh, hearing uh, those broadcasts on KMOX uh, uh, radio and on the television, watching uh, the games. And so that we've become tied to the St. Louis Cardinals. And as of recent history, uh, the Cardinals started this year without me giving sports commentary, uh, started this year uh, not doing so well. Uh, they struggled most of the year long and have ended or are ending the year, um, the closing of the regular season with a flourish. Um, won 17 out of 18 of their games, um, the last 18 games, won 17 straight. And all the talk and all the hubbub was about how they have been able to keep the streak alive. And we are aware, uh, those of us who are baseball fans, of how uh, it's important to keep a rally going, uh, to be able to uh, to cheer your team on, to do things differently. And I found myself uh, trying to keep same, some of the same habits. I'm not superstitious, but uh, if a little helps uh, by uh, doing some of the same things that I had done before and they win, I want to keep doing those things uh, to hope and help uh, the home team do their best. Uh, the rally squirrel or wearing your rally hats and all the things that we do to get excited about sports and about our team. Well, sometimes in life, we want to keep the rally going. Uh, when life is going in a way that we want it to go, or we feel uh, like we're on our way somewhere, we're climbing mountains, we're on our way to a better place, uh, we want to keep the rally going. And the beautiful thing about that is, is that while we're trying to keep the rally going, we're also aware that being on the mountain or climbing the mountain or living in mountaintop experiences are not always uh, something that are guarantees. In fact, uh, what we do know is that every mountain is followed by some subsequent divergence or moving down the other side of the mountain to plunge ourselves into a valley only to climb another mountain and to find ourselves again on the other side of that mountain, making our way to a valley again. That's the way life is. Ups and downs also uh, are important that we enjoy the ride and the journey. Uh, there is a story, a biblical story. I won't go into scripture and text, but it talks about uh, uh, God's people or the people uh, that God called his people in the biblical text, Israel, finding themselves following Moses to a mountain, Mount Sinai. And after coming out of the wilderness, after being uh, 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 on the road of Exodus away from Egypt, they find themselves at the foot of the mountain while Moses goes up into the mountain uh, to receive the law of God. Uh, so that they can get instructions about how they should live in the new promised land. However, uh, they ended up at the mountain a long time. A lot to this story I will not uh, go through and uh, item by item, but I think it's important to pick up the, the essence of the story. 
that there is a point where they have learned how to camp at the foot of the mountain. And eventually a voice comes from heaven. God speaks to them and says to them, you have dwelled at this mountain long enough. It's time to go. In other words, there's no parking here. That there are moments in which we find our niche and we want to get comfortable. And when we get to that place, we want to ride it out and rally at the foot of that mountain. Maybe perhaps set up tents, maybe perhaps spend some time there. But they didn't know that they weren't made for the mountain. Uh, they were not people of the mountain. They uh, were too many. There were too many of them to sit at the mountain for long periods of time. They had sheep that needed pasture. They had families that needed homes. They had a life that they needed to live. And so the message for you today is that maybe perhaps you're at a place where you found some comfort. And it doesn't mean you have to leave it necessarily, but it does mean that you have to be willing to know that keeping the rally alive and even if the rally doesn't continue, it doesn't mean you failed. It just means it's a reminder of what success you could have along the way in the journey. Last night, the Cardinals lost their ball game uh, uh, and uh, following a 17 game win streak, they lost. And a lot of people were sad, I'm sure, that the rally ended. But the lessons from the journey have always reminded, will always remind them that they can do what they didn't think they could do, even if what things turn out to be right now don't always pan out the way they want. In other words, let me say it directly to you. You have moments in which you'll rally, and the rally is a beautiful thing. It is a reminder to each of us as we rally that we can do impossible things, that there are doors that open, family problems that can be solved, uh, financial situations that you'll come overcome, uh, storm clouds that may seem like it brings rain, but you'll discover that the sun will shine again because you know that you know how to rally. How do I know this? Well, my faith tells me that, that God is the author of the rally. Yeah. Uh, God is the author of the rally squirrel or the rally hat or the good things that happen because God gives every good and perfect gift. Everything that happens uh, in our lives, we are aware that it comes with ups and downs, but the constant is that God is with us not only in the ups, but God is also with us in the downs. God is also with us in the plain, whether we're in the mountain or the valley or on the plain, God does not leave us. Therefore, we are encouraged. In other words, to use Paul's language, it doesn't matter what state I'm in. I know how to be up and I know how to be down. I know how to abound and I know how to be abased. For whatever state I'm in, I've learned to be content not content with the circumstance, but content that God knows better and will be with me as I go through. So be encouraged today. Uh, keep the rally alive, but know that even if it doesn't stay alive for the happenings around us, that the rally that means something is that God will always be there and you will always be with God. Through grief and gratitude, through ups and downs through struggles and successes, you'll have that promise that God will be with you. So have a great day, have a great week, hold on to that and keep the rally alive in your heart, even if the circumstances around you don't always work out the way you want. It's gonna be all right. Remember, as I said always, you're loved, you're appreciated and you're irreplaceable Share that message always with someone this week. Uh, maybe a friend, maybe a loved one, maybe a stranger. Just tell them you're loved, you're appreciated, and you're irreplaceable. Have a great day and have a great week.